Hi, I'm Helen Richmond Webb. I'm the, a um, member of the board of the Historical Society and wrote the history of this house for the accompanying book for the tour. I'm also the granddaughter of Carlton Richmond who moved this house here in 1937. So this house was originally built in Londonderry, New Hampshire in 1733 by a James Wilson, but not Mary Wilson's father, who was also named James Wilson. It was lived in for 200 years almost by the Wilson family, four generations, who were farmers. Some of them were fairly um, affluent farmers, gentlemen described as, but they were basically rural farmers from the Scots-Irish community in that area. When the last of the Wilsons died, they sold the house to a neighbor, a couple who lived in the house for about 30 years. And after both of them had died in the middle of the Depression, the house was in bad shape, and the new owner of the property was going to tear it down. So my grandfather, Carlton Richmond, found out about the house as a um, very avid preservationist and collector of historic furniture and household goods. He bought the house for a dollar and had it disassembled and moved here to be a guest house and a kind of a museum for his collections of furniture and such. It was in my family, the Richmond family and the Ladd family, until 1998 when it was sold to the Kears, who have done a fabulous job of preserving it, restoring it, and adding a very, very sen historically sensitive addition to make it more suitable for 21st century living. There's a great story about the Seaboard Mary House that involves pirates at sea and babies born at sea and lengths of silk for wedding dresses, but you'll have to find out about that on the tour and in the accompanying book.